Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Basilica of the Holy Rosary of Manawag. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in which you partake of Christ, his sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with his grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food. And this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May your worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us. In the peace of the kingdom, where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Or for to beseech you, O Lord, your, your grace into our, our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate on the luminous mysteries. The first luminous mystery is the baptism of the Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The second luminous mystery is the wedding at Cana. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third luminous mystery is a proclamation of the kingdom of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The fourth luminous mystery is the Transfiguration. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth luminous mystery is the institution of the Holy Eucharist. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O, o Holy Mother, Mother of God, God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but, but deliver, deliver us from, from all dangers, O ever glorious and blessed Virgin. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O, o God, God whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him in splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of St. Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your Church continue to serve her Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee Prayer 
O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, Advocate and Guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you. Let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all. In the gospel we share with all peoples, by your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Thursday in the fourth week of Ordinary Time. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and, and my, my mouth shall declare your praise. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing for joy. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us to belong to him. We are his people the sheep of his flock. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. Go within his gates, giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. Please be seated. At daybreak, be merciful to me, O Lord. Lord, listen to my prayer. Turn your ear to my appeal. You are faithful, you are just, give answer. Do not call your servant to judgment, for no one is just in your sight. The enemy pursues my soul. He has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me dwell in darkness, like the dead, long forgotten. Therefore my spirit fails, my heart is numb within me. I remember the days that are past. I ponder all your works, amused in what your hand has wrought. And to you I stretch out my hands, like a parched land, my soul thirsts for you. Lord, make haste and answer, for my spirit fails within me. Do not hide your face, lest I become like those in the grave. In the morning, let me know your love, for I put my trust in you. Make me know the way I should walk. To you I lift up my soul. Rescue me, Lord, from my enemies. I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you, O Lord, are my God. Let your good spirit guide me in ways that are level and smooth. For your name's sake, Lord, save my life. In your justice, save my soul from distress. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord will make a river of peace flow through Jerusalem. 
Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad because of her. All you who love her, exult, exult with her. All you who were mourning over her. Oh, that you may suck fully the milk of, of her comfort, that you may nurse with delight at her abundant breasts. For thus says the Lord, Lo, I will spread prosperity over her like a river, and the wealth of the nations like an overflowing torrent. As nurslings you shall be carried in her arms, and fondled in her lap. As the mother comforts her son, so will I comfort you. In Jerusalem you shall find your comfort. When you see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bodies flourish like the grass. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us joyfully praise the Lord our God. Praise the Lord, for He is good. Sing to our God, for He is loving. To Him our praise is due. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and brings back Israel's exiles. He heals the brokenhearted. He binds up all their wounds. He fixes the number of the stars. He calls each one by its name. Our Lord is great and almighty. His wisdom can never be measured. The Lord raises the lowly. He humbles the wicked to the dust. O oh, sing to the Lord giving thanks. Sing psalms to our God with the harp. He covers the heavens with clouds. He prepares the rain for the earth, making mountains sprout with grass and with plants to serve man's needs. He provides the beasts with their food and young ravens that call upon him. His delight is not in horses, nor his pleasure in warrior strength. The Lord delights in those who revere him, in those who wait for his love. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Kings. When the time of David's death drew near, he gave these instructions to his son Solomon. I am going the way of all flesh. Take courage and be a man. Keep the mandate of the Lord your God, following his ways and observing his statutes, commands, ordinances, and decrees, as they are written in the law of Moses, that you may succeed in whatever you do, wherever you turn, and the Lord may fulfill the promise he made on my behalf when he said, If your sons so conduct themselves that they remain faithful to me with their whole heart and with their whole soul, you shall always have someone of your line on the throne of Israel. David rested with his ancestors and was buried in the city of David. The length of David's reign over Israel was forty years. He reigned seven years in Hebron and thirty-three years in Jerusalem. Solomon was seated on the throne of his father David with his sovereignty firmly established. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, you are exalted over all. Lord, you are exalted over all. Blessed may you be, O Lord, God of Israel, our Father, from eternity to eternity. Lord, you are exalted over all. Yours, O Lord, are grandeur and power, majesty, splendor, and glory. Lord, you are exalted over all. Lord, you are exalted over all. Yours, O Lord, is the sovereignty. You are exalted as head over all. 
riches and honor are from you. Lord, you are exalted over all. In your hand are power and might. It is yours to give grandeur and strength to all. Lord, you are exalted over all. Please stand. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus summoned the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over unclean spirits. He instructed them to take nothing for the journey but a walking stick, no food, no sack, no money in their belts. They were, however, to wear sandals, but not a second tunic. He said to them, Wherever you enter a house, stay there until you leave from there. Whatever play, place does not welcome you or listen to you, leave there and shake the dust off your feet. In testimony against them, so they went off and preached repentance. The twelve drove out many demons, and they anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Sa Ebanghelyo, narinig po natin na isinugo ni Jesus daladalawa ang kanyang mga apostoles para magpalaya ng mga tao laban sa mga demonyo. Magpagaling ng mga may sakit, ipahayag ang mga buting balita. Pero saan sila'y sinugo? Para kanino? Mababasa natin sa Ibanghelyo ni Mateo, Kapitulo 10, Versikulo 5 hanggang 6, sinabi, Go nowhere among the Gentiles, and enter no town of the Samaritans, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Ang pagsugo ng labindalawang apostoles, dala-dalawa, ay para sa mga Israelita. Hindi pa ito yung great commissioning na sinasabing, Go to the ends of the world, proclaim the good news to every creature. Ang konteksto pong ito ay ang pagsugo ng mga apostoles para sa mga nawawalang bayan ng Israelita. At kapag sila ay pinatuloy, ng mga Israelita sa kanilang tahanan, sinabi, ang kapayapaan ng Diyos ay suma sa kanila kapag sila ay nararapat. At kung sino man ang magpatuloy sa inyo, ay pinapatuloy din ang sumugo sa inyo. Kung sino man ang nagpatuloy sa mga apostoles, ay pinatuloy na rin nila si Jesus. At mapapasa kanila ang kapayapaan kapag tinanggap nila ang mabuting balita. Kaya nga, ganun din 
kung sino man ang tumatanggi sa kanila, ay itinatanggi din si Jesus na nagpadala sa kanila. Kaya't sinabi na lang ni Jesus na whatever place does not welcome you or listen to you, leave there and shake the dust off your feet. Umalis kayo and shake the dust off your feet. Shake the dust off your feet na sinasabing hayaan mo na. Ipaubaya mo sila sa awa ko, sa paghahatol ko, sa paghukom ko. Yun po ang ibig sabihin ng pagpagpag ng alikabok sa iyong mga paa. Ang pag-ubaya sa kanila sa awa ng Diyos, sa paghahatol niya, sa kanyang paghukom. Bakit ganun na lang po ang sinabi ni Jesus sa mga taong, sa mga Israelitang hindi tatanggap sa kinatawan o sinugo niya sa mga apostoles? Bakit ganun ang tono? Hayaan mo na lang sila, ipaubaya mo sila sa aking paghukom. Bakit? Because the Israelites have seen and heard and witnessed the greatness of God through Jesus Himself. Nakita nila, naramdaman nila ang kadakilaan ng Diyos. First hand sa pamamagitan ni Jesus. At kung sino man ang hindi naniwala, at itatanggi pa rin si Jesus sa pamamagitan ng kanyang kinatawan, na kanyang mga alagad, umalis ka at ipaubaya mo sila sa awa ko, sa aking paghukom, sa aking paghahatol. Umalis ka. Alam niyo po sa karanasan natin sa buhay, may mga pagkakataon na gusto na nating sukuan ng isang tao. Tama na. Na gusto na nating umalis. Na gusto na nating sabihin, sagad na ako. Naibigay ko na. Wala na. Para hayaan natin na pumasok ang ibang tao sa buhay nila at para tumabi tayo kung saan man tayo nararapat na lugar sa puso nila. Bakit po natin minsan nasasabi yun? Dahil may mga pagkakataon na lahat na naibigay natin ng oras, ng effort, ng talino, ng yaman, But despite all those, hindi pa rin tayo tinanggap. Hindi pa rin tayo yung pinili. Hindi pa rin tayo yung gusto. And to the point na nagmumuka na tayong tanga, na wala na tayong maiharap sa ibang tao, na wala na tayong makitang worth sa sarili natin. Dahil ubus na. Wala na tayong may bibigay pa. Napabayaan na natin ang sarili natin. Napabayaan natin ang kaligayahan natin. Pero alam niyo po, pero hindi sa lahat ng oras. Siguro may mga pagkakataon talaga na dapat tayong umalis sa buhay ng isang tao. Hindi dahil may mali sa atin, hindi dahil nagkulang tayo, kundi dahil ang tagal-tagal na nating kumakapit sa taong hindi handang tumanggap sa atin. 
ang tagal-tagal na nating kumakapit sa taong hindi naman handang tumanggap sa atin kung sino tayo, kung ano tayo. Hindi po sa lahat ng pagkakataon kailangan umalis, kailangan sumuko, kailangan lumisan. Pero may mga pagkakataon na dapat lang umalis ka na. Bakit? Kagaya ng mga apostoles, bakit sila pinaalis ni Jesus? Leave! In order that they may still continue the mission Jesus gave them. Bakit kailangan nating umalis? Dahil may mission pa tayo sa buhay. Para magmahal ulit. Para magpatawad ulit. Para maniwala ulit. Para magtiwala ulit. At para makita natin ang kahalagahan natin ulit. Dahil sa pagbibigay natin ng ating sarili, ng ating lahat sa ibang tao, baka nakakalimutan natin na kailangan mo ring mahalin ang sarili mo. Na minsan, dapat unahin mo rin ang pangangailangan mo. Dapat makita mo rin ang halaga mo. Sa gayon, may tutuloy mo pa, magagawa mo pa kung ano ang misyong ibinigay sa iyo ng Diyos. And so we pray and ask God, Lord, when must I leave and shake the dust off my feet? para magawa ko pa ang misyong ibinigay mo sa akin at para makita ko pa ang halaga ng sarili ko. Please stand. God the Father has invited us to be His ministers, to spread the good news of salvation. We pray for the grace to recognize the dignity of our mission and the necessary strength to carry it out. For every petition we shall answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Pilgrim Church may inspire people to renew their lives by faithfully bearing witness to Christ in the word and deed. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the work of missionaries in foreign lands may be rewarded with an abundant harvest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That parents may persevere in their vocation of handing on the faith to their children. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may show care, sympathy, love, and understanding to those who are weighed down by life's misfortunes. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For justice, peace, and development of the country, and for our brothers and ministry, at San Lorenzo Ruiz and Most Holy Rosary, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag and for our personal intentions. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that those who have died may be freed from the troubles of this world and enjoy everlasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, in you we trust. 
You have chosen us in Christ to proclaim the love you have shown us. Make us true to the message of the gospel. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. May come the share the beauty of Christ, who humbled himself as share Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness. We have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by your Lord. May our sacrifice this day. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice in yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, we bring to your altar this offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of your redemption. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man. And when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeem them through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and virtue of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith As you celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep. In the hope of resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign.
forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. It is mingling the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Bring eternal life to us to receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe, eternal life. Please kneel. Let us pray the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver, Deliver us, Lord, Lord, from coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord, from dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord, from bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord, from threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. The genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Give your people knowledge of salvation, Lord, and forgive us our sins. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, he has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. 
through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness, in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give your people knowledge of salvation, Lord, and forgive us our sins. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, candles, oils, and images, and other religious articles be blessed and be made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.